Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am OM Akpan. It is such a pleasure to have you watch today's video. And in today's video, I want to talk about anxiety. And the thought line behind this is how to combat anxiety. The reality is that all of us get anxious. All of us feel anxious. Like we are careful, we are full of care, either for life, either for what to eat, either for what to wear, or you have an interview that makes you anxious. And why do we get anxious? Maybe anxious about our loved one's health or about our health. There are so many things that get us anxious and everybody gets to experience anxiety. And most times the need to try and control outcome is why we get anxious. Because as humans, we naturally want to control the outcome of things in our life. We want to control if it was possible, we'd like to control what is going to happen tomorrow. That is why we worry about tomorrow. We'd like to control what the future looks like because we have expectations and we have things we are looking forward to, whether in relationship or in family, in marriage or whatever. We have these things that come up to us and we are like, I would like to control, at least let me have a measure of control over my life, over this, over that, over what's going to happen or over what is happening already. So the need to control outcome is the reason that sometimes we get so anxious. A friend of mine asked me a question, how do you handle anxiety? And giving an honest answer, I realized that over time, I am handling anxiety better. Before, I would get so sucked into it, overwhelmed under the weight of anxiety till it gets me distressed and almost depressed. Because anxiety leads to that. You are in your head, going in circles, thinking about what to do and why you become that anxious is because there is a lack there's an insufficiency whether the lack is that of wisdom or that of not knowing the right decision to make relationally not knowing the right decision to make business wise not having the knowledge to do what you need to do because anxiety always has its root on a real and valid need in our life a real and valid thing in our life and because we want to control the outcome of whatever it is we get so anxious and so careful. So when the friend asks, how are you handling anxiety? I said, I'm doing a better job. And over time, looking back, I realized that some of the things I worried about, God took care of it. Like, God took care of it. Because at the end of that anxiety, I realized that I couldn't do anything. I would go to prayer. I would pray to God, worship, and just try to let it off my heart. And I realized that just living forward, God has taken care of that. And then it makes it clear, why not just take the anxiety to God immediately instead of having to go through that process of becoming anxious, caring, taking the thoughts, going in circles with the thoughts. That's why scripture says, why are you anxious about life? Why do you take thoughts about life, what to wear, what to eat, what to drink? And in Matthew chapter 6, scripture says, there 6.25, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? I'm using King James Version. So scripture is literally telling us, when you look at the birds, it should teach you a better lesson of how you should live. That is the better place to learn your lesson. Look at the flowers in the field that the wild flowers, nobody planted them, they just grew. And look at how healthy they look and beautiful. Not because somebody is watering them, but because God allows the sunshine and they bring up their life. The birds fly around not having savings. Yeah. They, we would like to have a lot of savings to, you know, have a lot of confidence in life. We would like to look at our bank accounts and see a certain amount to have some confidence in life. But when we look at our bank accounts and then we don't see that huge sum or that particular sum that we wanted to see to have confidence, we start becoming anxious. And God is literally saying, when you are anxious, you are just in a trade meal that you are running in circles. At the end of the day, you still take the need to God because you cannot solve it. And if being you were able to solve the problem, you would not be anxious in the first place. And if being you were able to 
have a solution for whatever you are worried about, you will not be worried about it. But because you don't have a solution, staying in the worry does not make things better. Instead, it gets you distressed and depressed. It worsens the situation. It wastes your time. It saps your energy. So instead of spending your time to stay in that place, scripture says, you will actually still come back to God. So whenever you get worried, just come to God immediately. Let God be your first option. Let God be the first person you come to with your need. In Philippians, it says so. Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Be careful for nothing, that is, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Then it continued to say, And the peace of God that passes understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is to say, instead of becoming anxious, go to prayer. Go to God in trust. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Now, when you learn to trust, because it is a process of learning, it is not something that you just get to do and then it's easy. It is not easy to be still when you are having things around you that you cannot control and you really want to control them. It is not easy to be still when you are afraid of something in the future or something that you know that you cannot have a solution for. That is what causes anxiety. Fear is at the root of every anxious thought that we have. And then the lack of control, which is actually still related to fear, is also a part of why we get so anxious. And God is literally telling you, you still come to me. So just come to me now. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added. All the things you're worrying about, all the things you are perplexed about, all the things you are saying, oh, just give me more time. Maybe I will sort this out. You are in your head. At the end of the day, you are not still able to sort it out. So just go to God with them. Trust God with it and see how God helps you through it. Because on your own, you just be there and not still have a way out. Yeah. Lastly, take life a day at a time. Because we all think about our future and worry about our future. For the singles, you worry about your marriage, your relationship, and the future life, your career, and all of that. The married people worry about their children, their relationship, the problems they are having. Like there are so many valid reasons to get worried about life and just have this enormous care and be careful. We are full of cares that we are like, oh, I wish I can have this, have that. I wish I can solve this and solve that. I wish that would come out this way. I wish my children would, you know, become like this. But instead of worrying, because your worry does not make what you worry about to become what you want it to become. You want your children to come out well, right? Your worry will not make them come out the way you think in your head. Worrying about it is not the solution. The solution is go to God, ask God for wisdom, and God will give you wisdom on how to walk with them. Just walk through life a day at a time. And Jesus said, worry not about tomorrow. Take no thought about tomorrow. That's Matthew 6. Live life a day at a time. And then I will give you these two more verses. In First Peter chapter 5, it says, cast all your cares unto the Lord for he cares for you. Have in mind that God cares for you. Look at how much God cares for the birds of the field who do not sow, who do not reap, but God provides for them. Look at how much God cares for the flowers, the wild flowers, which just grows on its own. And when you go to the forest or to the wild place and you see them so beautiful, as they are, God cared for them. God made the sunshine the rain fell and then look at how, how they grew beautiful. So what about you? Someone that is a son and daughter to him that he loves. It is because you're not casting your case to him. You feel like you can control it. You feel like you're going to be able to do it on your own. That is why you are still anxious. You don't know how to be still. And I'm speaking to myself also. I'm learning how to be still. When Israelites approached the Red Sea, or oh, they saw this sea and saw that there was no way out, they started complaining and worrying. And God literally just told them, Still, you can't do anything about this. So why are you complaining? You can't do anything about this. Your complaint is not going to change anything. But then, 
if you just look up to who can do it. Because the best way to solve a need is you know you cannot, then find who can. And in our lives, who can help us with this? God. If it's a need on how to do something, God can help you with finding the right person who can help you do that thing. Instead of you staying there, complaining, whining, worrying. And the second verse that I want to give you is John 14, 27. The scripture says, Jesus literally said, The peace that I give to you is not the kind of peace that the world gives to you. My peace I give unto you. Not the kind of peace the world gives. The world will tell you, go have a relaxation, go to a relaxation spot. Nothing wrong about that. Go sit down in a serene, quiet environment. You can go sit down there and your mind is racing. And that doesn't bring you peace. And that doesn't bring you the serene that you need in your soul. Because you could be in a serene environment, your soul is not serene. So you actually need God's peace that passes understanding to keep you stable. To keep you in a place that you are not worrying, you are not bothered. That doesn't mean that you are callous. But it means you know that God is taking care of everything. And you are just trusting him. So it says, do not let your heart be troubled. Your part, you are the one to avoid letting your heart be troubled, getting in a mix of trying to control things and worrying about how it's going to turn out. But instead, just accept this peace that God gives you and don't let your heart be afraid because God did not give you the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind, letting you know that the future he has for you is beautiful and it is certain. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope this video is a blessing to you. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And then do not forget to subscribe to this channel. I am Uwem Akban. It is a pleasure meeting with you today. God bless you. Bye-bye.